You know, I might as well do another Daniel Craig for you because I really love him as an actor. He's a wonderful actor, not as not just as James Bond, but he's great as being a very physical and serious actor. And you know, since this year is 2018, he turned 50 back in March. And since I was not on YouTube back in March, I might as well sing him a little happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Mac, there's no time for singing. Get to the review right now. Okay, 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 fine. I'll get to the review. Calm down, imaginary me. Layer Cake is a 2004 crime thriller film directed by Matthew Vaughn and it stars Daniel Craig, Sienna Miller, Michael Gambon, Sally Hawkins, and so many other talented actors in this film. The film is about this unknown British criminal who's in, who's in the drug business. He deals with drug dealers and he works with cocaine. And um, this movie really features his journey through the drug world and how toxic it is. From the moment you start this film, it, it takes you into how toxic the drug world is. It seems like it's a very, very relaxing and cool experience, but deep inside knowing the, d the downfall and the drawbacks of what it can have on a person and a person who deals with it, that's where the consequences fall. And throughout the entire movie, Daniel Craig's character is incredibly mysterious. From the moment you are introduced to him, his name is never mentioned. There is no name for the character of Daniel Craig's character in this movie as he's someone who's very mysterious. And this film discovers drug dealers as very mysterious people. You're not supposed to know who they are, nor where they came from, or their birthday, or, you know, their information or IDs, you know, because that's who they are. They're very unknown, they can appear anywhere. And this, that's the way how this character was written in this film. I find it really cool that's how, I find it really cool that's how Matthew Vaughn decided to direct the character of Daniel Craig as this drug dealer, and um, and as you dive deeper into the movie, you discover more about his character and why he's into the drug business. Another cool thing that I found out is that you really don't know why he's there. Sure, he introduced. Sure, when you when you're introduced to his character, he says that it's really cool to be in the business. But at the same time, you're kind of thinking like, okay, why is he really doing it? Does he have any purpose? But in order for him to be fulfilled with his entire career of being a drug dealer. He has to do one last mission, and now you've got a crime thriller. Layer Cake is an incredibly well-directed movie. It's directed by Matthew Vaughn, and he's the same guy who has directed the two Kingsman movies and the Noiter X-Men First Class, and you can tell that this is his movie because it does have Matthew Vaughn characteristics or styles enhanced into this movie. You have the brutality violence, and you have the, the humor, and then later you got the action sequences, and this is everything that I kind of asked for from a Matthew Vaughn movie. This is one of his earlier films since it came out in the early 2000s and 2004. And this was back in the time when he was trying to find his direction. But later, as I watched his movies around this time with, you know, Kingsman and X-Men, I got to really know him a bit more. And this movie really introduced me to how Matthew Vaughn is as a director. And I have to say, he's a pretty cool and unique director working today. I'll be honest, Layer Cake is a bit of a difficult film to watch. This movie is pretty long and it has a very complex plot that was really hard for me to follow. The movie can get a little confusing from time to time, but that is the style of Matthew Vaughn. Matthew Vaughn is that type of director who likes to make his character who likes to make his audiences think because characters do things that are a little mixed up or they go from one direction to another. Not saying that they don't make any sense at all, but they have some type of strange purpose. And the more you watch this movie, the more you can get more information with the information that you miss. As I've stated in this review, Layer Cake is a very complex movie and it's due to the complex writing that was enhanced into this film. This movie has pretty interesting dialogue because you can go from one scene of talking about, okay, this is how we're gonna deal, and then to another scene which is probably beat down. And later, you know, three, you know, it could go to like a deal going wrong or getting to know another character or another character's, you know, background and information. And later there are all these twists that come in later into the film. And this is what Layer Cake is very well known for. It's very complex and very brutal, but at the same time, it does it is a movie that makes you think about why things happen in that way. One of my favorite thing about this film is the acting, and the acting is tremendously amazing. Matthew Vaughn is a wonderful director. He's very capable of directing his actors into the environment they're in. He makes them feel as if they're in the moment of the film, and it's a really cool way how he directed them, because like 
he doesn't really force his actors to do certain things, but he allows them to like be who they are in the film and who they're meant to be. But my favorite character in this movie is Daniel Craig's character, and Daniel Craig was amazing. A lot of people claim that Layer Cake is a movie that got him the role of James Bond two years later in 2006, and you can say that because the way that he acts is kind of like James Bond, you know? The way he stealthed around, the way he holds the gun, the way he performs his stunts. People saw that and they said that this could be a future Bond. Now, the funny thing that I've come to my knowledge of Layer Cake is that I believe this is a movie that predicted the future of James Bond because not only do you have Daniel Craig in this movie acting like a Bond-like character, you also have Ben Wyshaw in this movie who is who gave out one of his first performances I've ever seen from him. And then later, you know, these two reunite in 2012 in Skyfall. And that's the, one of the coolest things I found out about Layer Cake. For me, I guess I'll just rename this as the future of Daniel Craig's Bond career. Layer Cake is also a movie that takes multiple viewings to appreciate. The first time I saw the whole thing through, I was just a little confused about the ending. I could understand why the movie would end that way, but um, there were some certain things that I missed. And it's one of those movies where, like, one viewing is just not enough. Layer Cake's one viewing is definitely not enough because it's a movie where you really need to pay attention. And sometimes when you don't pay attention and when you miss out on some details, it could really, like, you know, be a consequence for you as a viewer when you try to figure things out to place the puzzle into this film. And for me, it's also cool that after multiple viewings, you could find more information about the characters and why this film exists and why things happen in this film. So um, that's a thing I have to give props to Layer Cake. And as for flaws, I think the same thing that I have to say about the plot is that sometimes the plot can be way too hard to follow. There'll be times where like I got really incredibly lost in this film and it took me a while to like catch it up and you know after a second and third viewing I finally got the big deal. But um, that's all I have to say about this film of Layer Cake. But for that flaw that I mentioned, it actually turns into a pro for me because Layer Cake is that movie is that even though you miss something, it really keeps you more interested about why this movie was like this. And by the time you do multiple viewings of second, third, or fourth, you get way more new information that you did not know. And that's when you discover that Layer Cake is just wonderfully amazing. And that's how unique Layer Cake is. I could go more into detail, but that would lead into spoiler territory. So um, I think I would like to end this review for Layer Cake. So um, I love Layer Cake. It has a great style by Matthew Vaughn, wonderful, wonderful performances by everybody. The great movie that is probably a prequel to Casino Royale. And you know what? I'm just gonna give it, I'm just gonna give this movie a 10 out of 10. So, Imaginary Mac, um, I am actually done with my review of Layer Cake. Um, can I please continue singing Happy Birthday, please? No.